In 1986, less than a year after the beginning of the anime, Rumiko Takahashi's Maison Ikoku was made into the first live-action adaptation of her work. Trying to compress an entire series into a feature-length movie is an impossible task in and of itself. But on top of that, the manga had not yet reached its conclusion at the time the movie was released in theaters. To deal with this issue, the film does not try to be especially faithful to its source material, summarizing relationships, adding in new characters, and at times, turning into a musical. Directed by Shinichiro Suai, the two-time winner of the Japanese Academy Award for Best Director. His films include 1984's W no Higeki and 1985's Soshun Monogatari. Maison Ikoku appeared to be in very good hands. The film stars Ken Ichiguro in one of his first roles as Godai. Popular singer and actress Mariko Ishihara as Kyoko, with Masato Ibu as Yotsuya. Ibu worked in anime portraying the voice of Dessler and Yamato, as well as internationally known films such as Steven Spielberg's Empire of the Sun and Gohato by Nagisa Oshima. While not the most well-known piece of media for Maison Ikoku, the live-action film, and especially its soundtrack, should not be overlooked. The soundtrack was composed by famed composer Joe Hisaishi. Hisaishi is best known for his work with Studio Ghibli director Hayao Miyazaki, as well as famed comedian-turned-actor-director Takeshi Kitano. Following the release of the soundtrack for Laputa, Castle in the Sky, Hisaishi released Maison Ikoku Apartment Fantasy on October 25, 1986, two weeks after the film hit theaters. Early in his career, Hisaishi developed a passion for minimalism, and the sound of this album is closer to his earlier non-soundtrack albums, featuring cooler electronic sounds akin to his work on 1982's Information, and his work on Takeshi Kitano films rather than the lush orchestral scores of his Studio Ghibli work. The soundtrack itself features numerous other artists. The first track, Ikoku-kan Theme No. 1, features vocals by Mariko Ishihara. Ishihara was a model and spokesperson for Shiseido, along with American actress Jennifer Connelly in the 1980s. Ishihara starred in the film as Kyoko Otanashi and had a short-lived musical career herself, releasing the Popori no Kobin single in 1983 on Kitty Records, the same imprint that published the Maison Ikoku Apartment Fantasy soundtrack. Sukisa. In a twist of fate, Ishihara would later admit to having an affair with Koji Tamaki, the lead singer of Anzin Chitai. Tamaki is best known to fans of the series for performing Suki Sa, as well as co-writing Kanashimi Yokonichiwa. The two would later reunite and almost marry in 2009. Each Thought is a song performed as a musical number by the entire cast of the film. And while the scene in the film may feel out of place, the song itself is fairly enjoyable.
Most importantly, however, are the two songs contributed by Irish singer Gilbert O'Sullivan. Most fans of Maison Koku know that Alone Again Naturally and Get Down are used as the opening and ending themes to episode 24 of the anime, and only episode 24. The reason the songs were used is to promote the live-action film, which would debut a month after the episode originally aired. O'Sullivan is not known for his collaborations with other artists, but an exception is a single he recorded with a Japanese musician in 1991. To quote O'Sullivan, There is a very famous singer in Japan, Takao Kisugi. He's very influenced by Gilbert O'Sullivan. We did a song together with his melody and my melody. That's the only time I've done that, but only in Japan. I did it just because of him. I don't do it with other people, but in this instance, I agreed to it because Takao is such a nice person, and he's such a big fan of mine. So in honor of his respect for me, I agreed to do it. What a way to show I love you is the song. It's my lyric and his melody, so we did that. That's the only one. Of course, Takao Kisugi is beloved by fans of Maison Koku for his song Aishita Hareruka, the very first ending theme to the anime. O'Sullivan would later go on to perform duets with Peggy Lee and Ayala. Ultimately, Maison Koku Apartment Fantasy is an obscure album in the discography of Joe Hisaishi, and due to its limited availability, Rumic World is happy to be able to share it on this channel. <laughs> Oh, my God.